my people we have officially reached 40 subscribers i know i know thank you it's such an honor to celebrate this achievement i did absolutely nothing except scrolling through the endless void of youtube until i came across this video and i was like bet this is coolin a well known person in art community for her thirst art and the juicy lip the juicy lip the juicy lip now my art style is completely different from coolin's she has that semi 3d art style going on while mine is just flat and i don't draw man man boo tomato 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 anyways today's challenge is to draw like coolin okay let's go Let's draw the female face first. For anything else, I just drew the guidelines real. For the record, I don't believe in guidelines. It's a myth. Just like color theory. What do you mean my eyes two inches from my forehead, three inches to the right, ten inches from my chin, and twenty inches away from the brick I'm about to throw? Okay, what's next? Option. All right, now we're gonna draw the jaw. Just a curve like this, and it narrows at the bottom. Basically, it forms a V, but make it sassy. So we're gonna draw a sassy V for our chin. Done. For the eyes, the eyes are one eye apart, so put markers right. You don't need guidelines for every single shit. Just eyeball it. In my opinion, you just need a ball that doesn't look like a ball and a line to draw most angles. If you are the person that does the whole one by two from nose's mouth, <laughs> then for the nose, just do this. Measure the distance between the hairline and the eyes. Draw the same length, and that's where your nose is. <sighs> Listen, you don't need guidelines for your nose. You need guidelines to locate your useless eyes. How come you don't know where your enormous nose is located? I can point it out from a mile away. But this video is for beginners, so it's understandable. Except not really. Anyway, now let's sketch the eyes like this. Just two lines. We'll gasify. Okay, so two lines for the eyes. And now let's erase the guideline. Then we are supposed to banish all the guidelines. Great. We are finally at the exciting part, the eyes. Okay, so the first step is to draw these strokes. It's almost like a seal with a big ass iris. Seriously, I have never drawn such big iris. If anyone with that eyeballs choose to be anywhere near me, I'm calling. Hello, Mahila helpline. Well, the second step is to make them wings thicker. The last step is to draw the eyelashes and blur out the iris so it can be even bigger. The nose is simply going to be in all shape. Okay. Oh, hmm, let me teach you a little juicy little secret technique. Ooh, a secret technique. We're going to learn something. So just draw a line like this. Okay, a line. So the lips are as long as the inner corner of your eye. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Be for fucking real right now. Maybe if I had lips that ended at the inner corner of my eyes, I would have finally stopped breathing. I can't breathe. But it's just another day and another artist making sure the character don't breathe. Let's continue with the secret technique. What I do is I draw this curve in the middle, then draw two curves on each side, and then another curve for the lower lip. Very easy. Artist to artist, please keep your secret technique a secret. Okay, let's let's move let's on. Let's clean up the jawline because she looks like she got a beard or something. Let's give her a hairline. Drawing the hairline before the hair is important. I agree. Let's start with a straight line like this, and I'm gonna draw this big teardrop in the middle. I'm gonna draw this big chunk first, and then I add tiny bangs to- My girl chose to draw a hairline for a hairstyle that doesn't need a hairline. Bangs is that one hairstyle that doesn't need a hairline. You can draw bangs from anywhere. People won't question it. More detail. See? It's like I know what I'm doing. Do you? Do you now? Okay, let's try out this tear bang. Thing. You draw a deer bang and then draw the strands of the bangs from it. 
See, it's almost like just drawing the bangs could have been easier. So for longer hair, just draw them as if they're ribbons. Basically, just draw the rest of the hair. So we are just supposed to figure out how to draw the hair. And here I was expecting another secret technique. So I'm just gonna put the base colors real quick. For the next step, we are finally moving into the colors. I will just quickly eye drop and color the base colors real quick. Okay, it's done. Okay, so now we draw the male. No, uh, no, uh. So how do we go from here to here? Well, this is a process called rendering. Never heard of it. I just draw line art and then call it a day. One thing about me, I always use the airbrush. I don't. If I get hit by a cyclone, I'm taking all my brushes. Airbrush, that bitch can stay behind. So first of all, I give her the kawaii anime blushes. Give her them rosy cheeks like that. Okay, so we are supposed to airbrush the under eye and lips. Let's do that. I like to make the lips full using an airbrush as well. I'm really not good with airbrushes, so I'm not gonna do justice to Kuli's Juicy Lip Legacy. Okay, so now we're gonna shade. So I'm using this color to shade. The first thing I do is I add a little triangle. Then I give her extreme eye bags. This makes her look more edgy. So basically, we're gonna make our character look like an overworked single mom who actually has a husband on it. Shade the entire left side of her face. Now, I know that this looks really crusty, but you gotta trust the process. Okay, mine mine does not look crusty. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? Yeah, like that. Let's use the airbrush and blend the shading. Let's blur it out. Right. So for me, the lines are too harsh. Anyway, I use an airbrush to basically brush all over the whole drawing, just softening everything. And then I, I draw it back again for some reason. So we're gonna airbrush everything to make it look softer and draw it back again for no reason. It's it's giving me flashbacks to how we draw a hairline for no reason. Watch this video if you want an in-depth tutorial. No thanks, bro. Hey, now this is the fun part. It is guaranteed to tickle your pickle. That's such a funny phrase. Anyway, I use a very light color, almost white, and then I add them juicy highlight. I don't know if it will tickle my pickle, but it's definitely tickling my anxiety because our drawings do not match. It's a crisis. My drawing is in agony for more render. So this is the face. Beautiful. Now we do the hair. Before moving on to the hair, I'm just gonna add more details because whatever I vomited on this canvas does not match that cake. This is good, I guess. Still does not match though. Let's finally move on to the hair. So basically, I make the top part dark like this, and then I draw another dark part like this, and then another dark part. Basically, it alternates between dark and light. Okay, easy. Dark light, dark light. I'm gonna blend everything. Okay, blend, 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 blend. This is kind of complicated, and also, I did not really know what I was doing. Please just watch it. Okay, I'm, I'm so sorry for being pathetic. I'm gonna be more pathetic. I'm winning the pathetic contest here, for real. Cause I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with the hair. I draw it and then I erase it. I draw it, then I erase it. I, I draw it again, then I erase it again. I draw it again and then I erase it. Anyways, I'm done butchering the hair. Okay, don't, don't judge my girl's bangs, okay? One last thing, I added this soft light to brighten up the face. Lastly, we are supposed to spit some more airbrush and we are done. I did an absolutely terrible job, but who cares, so bye bye.